What's good with y'all? What's good with y'all? We back in the house. Um, just some new news, guys. Uh, Amir Khan just said that he thinks um Joshua would lose to both Fury and Wilder, but he thinks you know uh that uh Wilder would be the harder fight for him. You know, um. It was confirmed that that baby Jarrell Miller's manager that they sent the offer to Joshua to fight in the garden. And um you know, yeah, so I just wanted to drop that jewel to y'all, you know what I'm saying, you know. Uh I think Khan should should worry about uh his fight with um with Crawford right now. That's what I would focus on, but you know, he's entitled to his opinion if he thinks that that's cool. I think he's, you know, I got to do, I got to break down that fight with him and Crawford. I think he might come out on, he might top that, but, you know, we'll, 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 we'll check that out. I'll get into there and uh, dig into that later. But, um, yeah, so, uh, I guess since we got a confirmed offer from Miller, I'm going to go ahead and do the big baby Miller video. Every, a lot of people have asked me to do that, you know, it's, um, it's been a, it's been a, it's, it's, uh, been something on my mind. I've just been busy. So, and, and since I'm doing this video, I wasn't going to do any, a video, but I need to kick a motherfucker in the pussy real quick, you know, and that's Boxing Ego. He did a video a couple days ago and it irked the hell out of me. And I want to thank you, Boxing Ego, because it's motherfuckers like you that created motherfuckers like me. You know what I'm saying? Because you're right. People do look at your videos and they make videos in response, not because they hate you. Is they hate your fucking line. You know, I don't know why people pay for, pay you for all them super chats and shit. Why would anybody pay to be lied to? You know what I'm saying? And anyway, you know, you said something about Dillian White um, said, you know, that Anthony Josh was scared. And, you know, once again, you're entitled to your opinion, but, you know... That don't prove shit other than Dillian White. First of all, you got to look at the source. Dillian White. Is that the same Dillian White that Joshua had doing the stinking leg? What was it? In the 10th, in the I think. Is when, was it the 10th? The 7th round? Was it the 7th? He had him in there doing the stinking leg before he dropped one of the goddamn most devastating up, uppercuts in the in the fucking um the the last ten years on him, same uppercut that goddamn damaged Klitschko, that Anthony Joshua uppercut, that same one Wilder going goddamn that's going to smash in the, your boy's face, that one, the one that was in, in, halfway in and out the ropes, <sighs> breathing like that, and, and, and much respect to Dillian White, you know, I think he really came up and I really think he deserved his shot, you know what I'm saying, but. To say a motherfucker that knocked you out is scared of you, the same motherfucker that everybody seen it, you know, doing the stinking leg all all on the goddamn motherfucker in, in front of and and what were where did they fight at? Did they fight in Wales? Wherever the fuck it was, you was doing the stinking leg in the middle of the goddamn ring. And the, look, if you like dancing, my nigga, that's fine. Do your dance. But in the middle of the fight is no place to do the stinking leg, all right? That ain't the, that ain't it. Don't do it right there. And anyway, so you know, and, and one more thing, you know, um, he brought up the fifty million once again. Uh, man, one of who was it? What's the dude's name? They just admitted the other day. Shout out Counter Punch, man. Counter Punch be on these fools, man. Um. One of one of Don, one of one of one of one of Wilder's handlers basically admitted, you know, yeah, that they offered him fifty million and didn't give a fuck about the broadcast and so whether it's on B B B E uh I mean B T Sports. I'll find out. I'll mention it in my next video. I wasn't planning on doing a video about it, so I, I ain't prepared. Lou Devello. That's who it was. Lou Devello just did an interview. Don't know where he did it at. I, I, it's on Counterpunch Boxing News, though. Check it out. I'll plug it in this description. But when I get home, though, so if you watch the video before that, you know, it, it, it might not be there. But Lou Devella said, you know, 
uh, brought up the 50 million. And, and, and when they asked him, you know, well, don't that cr create a conflict? He said, who gives a fuck? So how did, could you realistically expect a man to, to goddamn basically have another obligation, take your offer, not seeing the contract, and then even talking about, you know, it's a negotiation. So fucking what is a negotiation? You don't know what you're talking about because you're a promoter. I know if y'all didn't sit down with him. So it wasn't no negotiation. It was an ultimatum is what it was. Sit down or else. That's what the fuck it was. It's an ultimatum. You know what I'm saying? So, so what the fuck, man? So, I really wish they stopped bringing this goddamn 50 million up because, like I keep saying, the bottom line is call his bluff, sign the contract, and fight him now. You know what I'm saying? Fuck back then. Let's get it on now. And another goddamn thing, man. Um, you know, he said. And, and, and if, 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 if Anthony Joshua fight Jarrell Miller, that proves that he is lying because he said he wouldn't fight and uh, he he had only fight in Britain. You know, he told he said what told Wilder he he would only fight him in Britain because the fans deserve it. No, that's not what the fuck he said. You dumb fucker, you man. And I don't be wanting to insult y'all guys. I really don't. I ain't this type. Man, y'all be making me mad though, man. For real, because y'all be manipulating people. Y'all, y'all don't throw the whole shit out there, and y'all know what you doing, because you know what he said. He said undisputed, yeah, and, and he's right. The British public deserves undisputed. They deserve it. They deserve that. That fight should happen in Britain. He didn't say he went fighting in America. And, man, like, that shit don't even make sense what you're talking about. He been saying he can't wait to fight over here, man. You know what I'm saying? It's undisputed, you fucktard, that he won't goddamn come over here and fight and, 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 and fight for it. You know what I'm saying? And he's absolutely right. If he did all the work, he collected all the belts, he, he, he fought all the tough competition. Go look at the top five right now on Boxing Rec. Look how many of them people Anthony Joshua fought and compare with any other heavyweight. Do that. Anybody that's doubting me, don't leave a fucking comment. Go do that before you talk that goddamn shit on my motherfucking, in my motherfucking comments, man. Straight up. Do that for a minute, man. I'm about to drop a video when I get home. It's going, I'm, I'm going to call it goddamn, um, the re, Anthony, jo, uh, 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 Dante Wilder hates Anthony Joshua because he could have been Anthony Joshua. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that later because I got to get back to work. It's cold out. I ain't trying to be out this bitch all day, man, but. Yeah, man, that, that that's 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 how it is, man. So I'm I'm just gonna keep this one short, guys. And um, you know, I'll I'll get back. I'm off this week, and I'll get that video out there to y'all. I've been promising that Baby Miller video. Y'all probably ain't gonna like what I gotta say about Baby Baby Miller, but you know what I'm saying. Um, we're gonna do it, and and so that's it, man. I'm done with the. I'm trying to think of this. If I wanna kick this bitch in the pussy one more time, you know. Going on there talking about uh, Joshua, if, if he come over here and fight Miller, that proves he's a liar and he was ducking because he said he wouldn't fight over here because, you know, the, the British public. And the way he, 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 he skipped over it, like, that's how you know that he's fucking trying to goddamn uh, gaslight or distort or muddy the waters. That's what it's doing. He's trying to muddy the goddamn waters and, and cloud it and make, make, make it where people are confused and shit. But anyway, I'm cutting this short, y'all. Much love to everybody. I love y'all. Motherfuckers, don't be bullying my goddamn people in the comments. Fuck that. I'm going to block your ass. Don't be down. Look, have your discussion. Say what you got to say. You start telling motherfuckers calling people cunts and, and just like straight shit that I would punch you in the face for in real life, you're, I'm, a, I'm just going to get you out of there because I'm a grown man. I ain't got time for that bullshit. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, leave my, direct your shit at me. You know what I'm saying? Don't be down there, you know, like, that's just bullshit, man. Like, be a man. You know, like, you know, you don't know another motherfucker. Don't be calling telling another motherfucker to suck your dick or you know all that you know you a cunt you a like like put lay the facts down 
or shut the fuck up, period, or all that other shit, you just trolling, man, I ain't with that shit, man, I ain't no internet motherfucker, but anyway, man, 100, man, y'all have a good day, man, thanks for your support, like and subscribe, man, 100.